hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be talking about five things that i personally will not be buying in 2025 or cutting back on so have you thought about the things that you're going to cut out in your budget for 2025 well i am going to be telling you mine so if you want to check out and see what they are stay tuned <laughs> so much for coming back to join me my name is tina i do a lot of different videos budgeting reviews fun stuff you know just all those things like that those are things that we do here so if you do like what you see guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then also the like button and then i would also like for you to comment in the comments below let me know what you're going to be cutting out of your budget are there certain things that you're not going to be doing for 2025 so with all that said guys let's go ahead let's get started so the first thing that i do want to say is that even though i did say that these are things that i'm not going to be doing or buying or kind of cutting down cutting out for 2025 i don't want to wait till 2025 so if there are things that i can actually do right now habits that i can implement into my budget into my lifestyle i would say to go ahead and do it now because me waiting even till the end of december me waiting six months me waiting 12 months that's just going to keep me from me getting to my goals faster all right so the first thing now you coffee lovers don't be coming for me now don't do it <laughs> so that is the first thing that i'm gonna say is to cut out coffee now even though i did say cut out coffee i'm not saying to go cold turkey i would say to just have an emergency envelope of cash set aside for coffee just in case if you don't have time to make your coffee at home and you're in a rush and or if you just want a latte or you want an espresso or you want a cappuccino so you will have those extra funds set aside to go to your favorite coffee place now my solution for me cutting down all of coffee was to make me a coffee bar Got a lot of ideas from Pinterest. I got a lot of ideas from Instagram. Also, just scrolling the internet and I was able to set me up something aesthetic. And y'all, I didn't use a lot of color because your girl loves some color. Okay. <laughs> but I was good. I didn't use a lot because it was in the dining room and I was trying to keep it aesthetic. Right? Aesthetic. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much a use for that. And I do have a link in my description box with my Amazon storefront to link all of the things that I got because I got some from Home Goods, I got some from TJ Maxx and Amazon. All right, so I am looking down, guys, because I do have my um, notebook because I don't want to miss anything that I want to tell you guys. All right, what I figured out was I did give myself $10 every two weeks so there's 52 weeks in a year so let's go ahead let's calculate that real quick so we have 52 times ten dollars so basically what that equals to is 520 dollars so that 520 dollars i can use that to put towards my coffee bar that i can make coffee at home in the comfort of my house right my home house home home <laughs> right that's why i feel like i wanted to make me a coffee bar because i've noticed that that has saved me a lot of money when it comes to buying a cup of coffee. All right, so the next thing I am like super excited. So I am wasting money on my gym membership because I'm not using it as much as I should because I don't go to the gym classes. I don't go to use the equipment. I don't go to the Asana, which is extra. I don't do um, like they have family basketball. I don't take advantage of that. So I am going to drop it down a tier. So these are things also that I'm going to cut back on. And Aiden does go swimming. So I'm going to keep it for that because he's taking swimming lessons and all that other good stuff. So I just want to thank Soul for sending me the G1M Plus exercise bike. Y'all, I've been getting up on that thing. Up own it so this bike when i pulled it out it was like super easy to put together which i was shocked because usually everything that tina gets <laughs> takes forever to put together but this one right here was super easy and i am going to be showing you guys all the deets about it so let's go ahead let's hop into it I do love the triangular stable structure body which is shaped in an h based design which makes it more stable when riding even with a larger body weight 
the frame is just beautiful. Now the seat is vented large and enhanced for comfort. And then you also get that the frame is made of commercial steel and its body surface has an array of piano paint processes. So you got rare resistance appearance and long service life here. These are my muscles here and I do have a little punch that I wanna get down. So this bike is gonna help me. So with this bike, silent magnetic resistance, which can be highly durable and very quiet. So it's offering a hundred levels of resistance to suit all fitness level and preferences. Not to mention you get free and unlimited screaming so you can achieve seamless compatibility with a range of applications using a cable. You can also do scenic exercises where you can just ride down the street and then also you can have instructors which are available through the Soul app. You get a 21.5 inch 1080p full high definition screen, 360 rotation. Y'all enjoy fun cardio with your soul. Come on now. So that is what the bike is about. So I have it down in my basement. So it's not, it's like more like darker down in my basement, but I do like it because it's just kind of chilled. Um, I do need to brighten it up a little bit, but for now it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so I am actually going to be, well, not actually going to be. I have already started riding the bike and I actually really love it. So that is my daily to do that I have written in my planner to make sure that I ride my bike at least 20 or 30 minutes a day. All right, keep it healthy. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so this brings me to the next thing is phone insurance. This is something that I don't really think about. Because when I get my phone, I'm always like, I need to get insurance for it. I am clumsy as it gets. I drop everything that I put in my hand. So with the phone insurance, it's almost like it's like, I think it's like 14, it could be 14 to $17. And that tacked on top of your monthly bill along with your financing or your leasing payment that can really bring your bill up. So it's just like you have it for like the first month or two. And after you see those bills, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then you're like, nope, don't need it anymore. So then a lot of people, they drop it. I know that's what I do. But what I want you to do is the next time, take a look at your credit card incentives and see if they do offer phone insurance for your phone if you pay your bill through your credit card. Some of them do offer this. And then also you can maximize on it by getting points on your credit card because some credit cards, my capital one, allows you to take those points and put it back to pay your bill. You still have to pay your monthly payment, but that is credit that goes back to your bill that brings your balance down. So that is something that you can kind of check out and see. And let me know if you already, you know, utilize having your credit card as your phone insurance for your cell phone. All right. So I personally, I don't have that anymore because I do use outer box cases and I can say that I've had outer box cases for a long time and they do the job <laughs> because like I said, I am clumsy as it gets and they have kept my phone from breaking. That's why I feel better not having the insurance. I'm not saying don't get the insurance. If you feel like you need the insurance, go ahead, do your due diligence and get that insurance if that's what you need. And if you feel comfortable doing it. So with the outer box, it do come at a higher price. So that takes me into my fourth one of Stop buying cheap stuff. I had to tell myself this, have a talk with myself over and over and over and over again about this because I'm just like, if I can get a deal. I'm down for it, but I noticed by me searching for deals like that, it breaks in no time, and then I'm back to buying something again. So those four dollar, three dollar, five dollar increments, I could have just pretty much put it together, and I could have just got the expensive item and not have to worry about it. For example, like Timberlands, I used to get like little cheap boots that I used to find, and they would just—I mean, not even rip. They would just look like they were just beat like a beat like a horse you know what I mean and I said one day I was like I'm just gonna go get me some Tims I'm gonna just drop the hundred and some change and I tell you what I have had those Tims for about four or five years and they still look new right so all those 
$15 boots, $20 boots that I was getting. I could have just put the money together and got me some tens and call it a day. All right. So the fifth and last one, y'all stay with me. You with me? Is what? fast food. Yeah. So I'm not, I don't know. Quitting cold turkey with fast food has got to be insane. What do they call it? It's got to be a diabolical to do. So I'm saying just cut back on it. So I'm saying for that one, I would still have an emergency envelope. We're going to call it an emergency envelope. I would have an emergency envelope for that. So just in case, because there's some, going to be some times that you're going to be running late and you're not going to be able to make dinner and you're just going to have to stop and grab the family something to eat at night and you're not going to have time to cook. So we're going to say, let's just keep that envelope for times like that. But if we can help it, let's cook at home. Let's buy groceries. Let's do that. That is more of like a health investment, I say. So that is the fifth one. So I am going to try to cut down like we, 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 we cut down on fast food. All right, guys. So those are all the five things that I am not going to be buying. And I'm not saying I'm not going to be adding more to it, but those are the things that I'm kind of pretty much just tweaking. So, but if you have not already click that subscribe button, like button or share guys, please do. That does help my channel. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys all the time. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos and if you have not already hopped over to my Instagram and TikTok, it's called A Pink Cloth Life. And my website is www.pinkcloth.co. And until next time, guys, peace.